Welcome to my channel. My name is Robin Shindelka and here I talk about everything related to mindfulness, spirituality and our way to recovery and a happy life. I am very grateful that you are here today and I hope you enjoy this video. Hello guys, welcome to a new video. I'm very excited to have you with me today. I've been feeling extra blessed these last days just by how much I appreciate you guys joining, watching my videos, talking to me on Instagram, interacting with me. Uh, I, re I really feel like I've gotten to start like a small <laughs> mental health community, which I really love. So I just wanted to start off by thanking you for watching all of my videos, for just being with me in this journey. So as you've probably seen already from the title of this video, today is going to be a very kind of strange topic, but I promise you it's not clickbait. This is actually really, really what I'm, what I'm going to make this video about, why struggling mentally with depression, anxiety or anything else is better than winning the lottery. But before I start, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do and please like this video if you want to support my channel. And follow me on Instagram for daily uh, quotes, tips, tricks, uh, videos, everything else. I try to be as interacting and engaging as possible with you guys. And I would love to have you there as well. Why do I think that struggling with mental illness such as depression, anxiety, or just struggling in life in general is actually better than winning the lottery? If you win the lottery if, or if you just get very blessed with stuff in life, we never have the chance to grow. There is one quote that has been with me my entire life and it goes like this. Life isn't meant to be easy or to make you happy. Life is meant to make you grow. And I'm a fond believer of this quote. I'm a fond believer of this sentence that the one thing that we're supposed to do in life is evolve and grow and move our boundaries, explore things that we haven't explored before uh, and challenge ourselves. In my experience with struggling with anxiety and eating disorder, depression, as you guys know already, I have to say that these experiences have been the most amazing blessings in my life because I am now the most happy and the most peaceful person that I've ever been, but I wouldn't have been here if I hadn't struggled so bad. And every challenge that we have kind of challenges us to explore new parts about ourselves, but mostly to learn new tools that are going to drag us out of our comfort zone. And the only way we can grow in life, the only way we can truly get to know who we are inside, to come closer to our spiritual selves and to love that we have, that we carry within us, is if we are challenged to look for it. Because if we never, if we're always just getting things that we want, if we're always just happy the way things are, well, then we're never going to go and explore. We're never going to go and look deeper into things. We're never going to go outside of that comfort zone because we won't need to. Why do I use the metaphor of winning the lottery? Well, if people win the lottery, they literally just get everything brought to them. Like everything just comes into their lap. And as you guys know, probably a lot of people actually end up being more unhappy after they win the lottery than even before they even got it because um, they just just bring so much misery with that. But that's a completely different story. Um, but so the reason I use this metaphor is because if you just get everything handed to you, you never actually get to fulfill your true purpose in life, which is discovering yourself, reaching your inner self, growing spiritually, um, growing mentally and emotionally. And I have to say, I have had so many blessings in life. I have the most amazing family. I have the most amazing friends. I don't struggle financially. I never had to. Um, but the best blessings that I've ever got for myself, for my own personal journey, my own personal growth, are my mental struggles. Um, how can I best explain this? Well, my depression and eating disorder have taught me a lot about the way we choose our own happiness in a way. Because after I recovered, I learned that what we focus on, what we put our focus on, is actually what brings us certain emotions. If we focus only on bad things, we will feel bad. If we focus on negative thoughts, we will feel bad. 
But if we change that focus to positive things and to positive thoughts and to enjoying and appreciating the beauty of life, well, then we feel good. And so I am now, I, since that experience, I am a very, very um, strong optimist, a very positive person. I always believe in, um, in that life is beautiful and great. But I never would have got there if I hadn't had that experience of depression and, um, and also the experience of an eating disorder taught me what real self-love was because before that I would always tie my self-worth to external things. And so if I move on then to, for example, heartbreak, heartbreaks are one of the most painful experiences we will ever have, but they teach us so much about life, they teach us so much about ourselves and they make us better persons for relationships after. And so the thing I, I, I notice in every struggle that we go through in life is that every time we go down, every time we hit bottom, we need to find new tools that will carry us back up to the, to the normal level that we are. So we go search for tools, we, we learn new things, we go dig deeper into ourselves and we struggle, we hassle and it's painful and it's uncomfortable, but it's necessary because it's making us grow. And so we find these new tools and not only do we get back to where we once were, but we get there back to this point with a whole backpack filled with new tools so that we can keep growing. And the next time life brings us something, we hit bottom again, but it won't be so low anymore because you have these tools and you learn new tools and you keep growing. And that growth that, go that you go on <laughs> in your entire life, that is the purpose of your life. Your purpose, the purpose of your life isn't to just be happy and peaceful and just have everything come to you every time. It's about learning to deal with what's on your path and recognizing that nothing happens to you, but that everything happens for you. And if you realize that, nothing can hurt you anymore. Now to go to the last part of my own mental health journey when I struggled with anxiety, heavy, heavy existential anxiety, panic attacks and derealization. What I discovered there is my spiritual self, my love for meditation and for going deeper than I ever thought I could go. And even though if you're still struggling with that kind of um, mental struggles like anxiety and the de derealization, I know that it's scary to still think about it, but I just want to kind of show you guys that once you get over this, once you recover, you will have so much new tools. You will have to learn so much more about yourself that after the ride is over, you will say, I don't want to take it all back. I, I'm so happy that it happened. And I've coached so many people who have, like, in the end of the day, they have messaged me back and say, I am so grateful for the journey I went through. I'm so happy that I experienced that because I'm so much happier now. I'm so much more peaceful and I'm so much more in touch with myself and who I really am. So I wanted to give you guys this short motivation for you today. I really hope that you kind of learned something from this that you have found some new motivation maybe and I really wish you all the best in the world uh, and I really hope to see you soon on a new video. Mm. Bye!